With so much new and exceptional hardware being announced and released in the last few months, if you're at all interested in upgrading your current PC or getting your first, my friends over at Artesian Builds have you covered. We're currently building out the PC that you'll be seeing here, driving the content for a long while to come. With quality builds, reliable service, and some of the friendliest people I've worked with in the industry. If you're at all interested, click the link in the description below to learn more and get up to $100 off your next build using code ESPRESSO. Yesterday, we saw an earnings call for Activision, and every time we get one of those, we end up seeing a little bit of information drop here and there that could be of interest. The times you're probably most used to hearing reference of these earning calls are likely in the early spring following the Q1 earnings calls, sometimes following Q4, in which we learn a little bit about the upcoming title in the COD franchise for the very first time. But what we've learned over the last 24 hours is not necessarily about the next IP after Black Ops Cold War, but instead some hints at what are some rather big things of importance, such as the future of Warzone and things like the ranking system in Black Ops Cold War. Today, we're going to be breaking down the relevant information and fill you in on everything you need to know. So that said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. When this integration for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone happens, how do you hope to see it go forward? Weapons simply ported over into Modern Warfare's engine, maybe a transition of Warzone to Cold War's engine, maybe a new map on either of those engines, whatever it is, let me know down below. As well, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button as we're on that road to 400,000 subscribers, and we'll keep you up to date with all things Black Ops Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare in the meantime. If you'd like to join the community, I'd love to have you. But anyways, let's take a look at what happened in the investor call. Firstly, we mentioned this Warzone integration, and that's kind of the big question right now for a lot of people, because we've seen information on campaign, on multiplayer, even with playable demos being the betas and the alpha, and also Zombies has had a decent amount of information revealed over the course of the last couple of weeks here. But Warzone, that's still the big question mark, especially given that Warzone was so heavily invested into from Activision, we have it as free to play. So how is it going to work in Cold War? Well, the integration discussion was first detailed that it wasn't going to have anything on launch day of Black Ops Cold War, but instead would first see integration happen in conjunction with season one for Black Ops Cold War in December. Now, there's no exact time frame given here with this, so that allows us to realize that firstly, we're going to have a preseason or a season zero of some sort within Cold War, but also things will likely remain untouched in Warzone for at least a little while longer. So that main timetable on when we can expect to see things is, of course, December, but how much more on a micro scale, we don't know exactly just yet. If we follow the same timetable as Modern Warfare, that season one update came on December 3rd. But what's interesting to note is that that turnaround, if comparable, would be a lot shorter than that of Modern Warfare's, since Modern Warfare launched on October 25th and had its first DLC season drop on the 3rd of December, a span of 39 days. But if in early December still, that span of just under three weeks from launch of Black Ops Cold War would be a little shorter. But anyways, that's kind of hypothetical, so we're getting ahead of ourselves here at that. But as for what the integration means for Warzone, that's also the other big question mark. Not just necessarily on when, because we slightly have that answered, but what's going to be changing? Now, their official quotes for this here mention that they'll bring in Black Ops Cold War characters, along with weaponry, into the free-to-play experience and other substantial new content, ensuring the experiences are top of the line. But it doesn't explain how that will happen. We've known now that there will be integration from the next game and games following for a while now. That's not something that is brand new or breaking information. But to me, this sounds like they're going to simply be adding weaponry and characters into the existing Warzone world, which means it may be based upon Modern Warfare's engine. Now, how that balancing will work is beyond my understanding right now, since that would seemingly be a logistical nightmare, would it not? To take two completely different weapon system cores and put them together. But to make it even more confusing, Activision president Rob Kostich said, as a result, one cool feature players will see is they'll be able to choose either their Black Ops loadout or their Modern Warfare loadout in Warzone for their gameplay. And to me, that makes almost absolutely no sense since fundamentally, create a class is similar. Sure, you have, of course, the gunsmith and all that customization available, but they're not the same. Perks are different for one. Wild cards are going to be something that are a huge variable since that could allow players to go up against somebody with eight attachments where they may only have five. So there's just so many things that are incredibly confusing about this to me, but at least somewhat guides the discussion of what we'll see in terms of Warzone and its future. What I also wonder about is if this ports the entire weapons armory from Cold War over at one single time, or maybe not. I mean, with season one, that's obviously a good time for when to expect DLC weapons in Cold War. So maybe we get these incrementally added in, but we'll talk about that particular part in a little bit because it is clarified a little bit with other quotes that were made during this investor call. Another thing we're still unsure of is, is this only 
only weaponry. They don't make it seem like a new map is coming yet, but they also mention that there would be substantial new content. But what classifies as substantial? I'd think substantial is more than a new point of interest or POI, if not a new map for Verdansk, Maybe that's the entry of Rebirth Island that was data mined in the Warzone files, and maybe that's when the Warzone Rebirth event happens. Since we won't really have any major changeover since then, theoretically, we previously thought of this happening around the launch of Cold War, but maybe that happens a couple of weeks later where Warzone is still untouched, but that's what actually drives that changeover. What is nice, though, to note is that Kostich also announced that we should be seeing more of these plans revealed as time progresses, stating more features will be set to be announced in a week or two, meaning that right before launch or around the time of launch is when we'll be seeing this stuff, which is incredibly exciting to me. We just saw a ton of gameplay information drop today, actually, officially from Treyarch in the form of a blog post for zombies, and we also have likely another blog coming in a little bit of time, which we'll touch on slightly here as we talk about ranking information, but maybe we end up seeing a blog post dedicated to war Warzone. But while we're on the topic for Warzone just a little bit more here, during this call it was also confirmed that Warzone is looking to expand into other industry markets, with mobile being a target in the future. It was said that there's no announcements as of today, but we should also bear in mind that not too long ago we actually saw a job listing on Activision's website that suggested Warzone would need mobile development. Now to my knowledge that listing was shortly thereafter amended to hide that detail, but it's not new in the grand scheme of what this could mean, but COD Mobile could be integrating Warzone. And yes, it currently does have a BR, but to have a unified experience would actually prove to be pretty cool, I think. And also, that player count and diversity would exponentially increase in that case. You could say goodbye to that 70 million unique download mark for Warzone alone because that's skyrocket. COD Mobile alone has, as of June, reported 250 million downloads, blazing past that full platform experience record that Warzone strongly holds with 70 million. But that's another story for another day. Let's talk about the ranking system though here to close out this video. Up front, this isn't the full confirmation like we're expecting to see in a blog post coming closer to launch as stated by Treyarch, but this gives us a little more clarity maybe as to what's coming. In his discussion on Cold War and Warzone, Kostich started by saying that the core Black Ops Cold War progression system will build upon the success and work similarly to how it did in Modern Warfare. And if you stop right there, that's a less than ideal outcome to many. Absolutely. But he states that the all new Black Ops weapons and operators you unlock in level 1 to 55 progression will be usable in Black Ops and Warzone, just like how it works in Modern Warfare. But Okay, Jordan, where's the zinger? This isn't something that's looking great for a new progression system. In fact, it kind of seems identical to Modern Warfare, but unfortunately there is no zinger, but it's more so about what isn't said than what actually is. You gotta remember this entire investor call is entirely all PR speak, elaborate ways to give answers without actually giving any. But what's mentioned is the core progression system. That's being discussed in relation to Warzone, meaning that one to 55, every weapon you'll find in there will be introduced into Warzone when it comes time for that integration. So basically, come season one, that entire weapons armory, we do have the answer, will be added into Warzone. Again, how, that's the big question mark, and still, we don't have a ton of information on, but he only mentions levels one through 55. This suggests some ties to Modern Warfare system, but not all. Personally, while I love prestiging, I actually love the fact that Modern Warfare introduced this base system of 1 to 55 where you don't have to re-unlock everything every time you progress. Everything else about the seasonal ranks, I would definitely prefer the prestige system, but that might actually be what this is in reference to, meaning that post 55, we have no idea what's going to happen. Truly, it leaves the door open for many other ideas that could be considered new to the Call of Duty franchise. Perhaps a seasonal prestige system that allows you to keep going past that theoretical 155, but still integrates that seasonal content in some capacity. Theoretically, maybe we also see something that just is uncapped leveling, where once you go past 155, you're good to go to level 1000, 2000, 3000 and upwards. You can just simply continue to play and the seasons only go in the background. They don't affect your actual rank. Perhaps one though, if they are trying to actually stick with Modern Warfare's base leveling system, one thing that I think would be ideal for the community and for that base level of 1 to 55, so you don't have to re-unlock everything, is a traditional prestige system 
after 1 to 55 meaning that you can go and prestige as much as you want but after you reset your prestige and go back to prestige x level one you don't have to re-unlock everything because you completed those base enlisted ranks as they're called in modern warfare that level 1 to 55 is simply where you unlock everything once and only once so that's something that could also be in there. But again, right now, we just don't have enough information. It was nice to see some confirmation that this information is coming soon and a little bit of hints of where this may point us in the direction of, but we just still unfortunately don't have enough. So with that, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I want to talk about this here because the prospect of not only one Warzone's integration with Black Ops Cold War is incredibly fascinating to me as somebody that loves Warzone, but also I really want to know what happens with this ranking system. So we'll of course keep you up to date with absolutely everything as this information becomes readily available, likely in about probably a week to a week and a half, whether or not they kick off that week leading up to launch with these blog posts talking about this kind of stuff, or if it's at the end of next week, we'll see, but it's going to be coming relatively soon. But for now, we just have to sit think and ponder on it so that said that's where we're gonna wrap it up i would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below what are you guys hoping to see here out of the warzone integration and also what would your ideal leveling system be just simply the classic prestige mode something that is a hybrid like we discussed here out of those last couple of examples or something else entirely love to get your thoughts and feedback down there so drop your thoughts if you guys also enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to so a single thing regarding all things black ops cold war warzone and modern warfare in the meantime we'll keep you the day with absolutely anything you need to know so if you're interested hit that subscribe button if you also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected outside of youtube practice live on both those so if you guys are struggling my conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below that said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace